Hello, Lisa here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. And welcome to this walkthrough, first impression, sort of unboxing of the Animal Love Oracle Cards written and illustrated by Nadine Gordon Taylor. So this deck was actually recently sent to me with a couple of other decks from this same publishing company to consider for review. And I wanted to share with all of you guys. Now this particular deck, the Animal Love Oracle Cards, was the one that my Unicorn fan members voted that they wanted to see first of the decks that were sent to me. So we're gonna be diving into this and taking a look. Now, full disclosure, a couple things worth pointing out. I can be incredibly, incredibly picky about animal decks. So I will give you my honest impressions, my first impressions of this deck, but I am pretty excited about the quality from what I'm seeing at first glance. It is a nice sturdy box with a magnetic flap. So let's get into it. We have on the inside this really cute little heart symbol and then we have a really like substantial looking guidebook. So we will take a look at that in a bit. And then inside there is a cardboard tray that is holding our cards. These are massive. They're not, mm, I guess they're not that much. They're actually pretty standard oracle size I feel like let me just grab let me just grab a standard tarot sized card and we'll just do a little comparison of the size so this is a card card from the tarot of the magical forest and let's just take a look so it's like it's not insubstantial it is big a lot of oracle card decks are big so we'll see um, and I will point out that the cardboard tray inside is solid, so it's not one of those ones that has all those gaps where your cards can kind of get loose and go sliding around inside, so I appreciate that. The tray is removable if you wanted to repurpose the box if you don't keep your cards in the box, so that's cool. And let's just see what it says on the back before we dive into the cards. It says, we are all ascending to new heart-based frequencies, and our interactions with animals can help guide us through this spiritual evolution. Animals not only can offer us compassionate wisdom, they also teach us there is more than one way to love. Beautifully illustrated with images of animals from around the world, including bears, cats, dragonflies, lions, manatees, otters, puffins, turtles, and zebras, the 52 full-color cards of this animal-centered deck and accompanying guidebook were designed to help unite you with your higher consciousness and loving energies that will inspire, empower, and heal. The animals that appear on each card are your mentors and will guide you with profound insights to accelerate your spiritual journey and align you with the energies of the heart. So it sounds like it is going to have that sort of love-based theme to it, perhaps. Um, I will say right off the bat, I can tell that we have some landscape-oriented cards and some upright cards. I'm also telling right off the bat that the artwork is not all formatted to be the same size. So for example, here we have an upright bear and black panther, and these art are two different sizes. Not a fan of that right off the bat. That is not my favorite thing ever. But let's take a look at the actual cards one by one and see what we think. So let's get zoomed in and we're gonna dive in. So we'll start with bat and it says, it's got keywords underneath. This is something I like. When I'm working with animal or nature-based decks or really most Oracle decks, I like if there's going to be a title. If you're gonna tell me what's on the card, please also give me some keywords. And this deck does, which I like. So it says bat, awakening, initiation, and inner depth. And I don't think it's a photo. I think it is a painting. I think it is a painting. Um, oh, and this is what the card backs look like. Oh, whoa, right in your face. Sorry, I forgot we were zoomed in. This is what the card backs look like. It looks like it's like some doves or I don't know what kind of bird that is. Uh, and I didn't really speak to cardstock. It feels like a classic like uh, satin finish, kind of standard, not matte, not glossy, somewhere in between, kind of more matte than glossy, but it feels like a very standard cardstock. A little bit uh, papery feeling, so not super like, it doesn't like it has a core necessarily, but it's a decent thickness, so I think it would hold up okay. Next we have Bear, Courage, Power, and Mindful Leadership. I guess I should not hold them. That'll probably be easier. Black Panther, Fearless, Enigmatic, and Royal Protection. I wish we could see more of the panther in this image. I think it's interesting that there are these little ladybugs climbing up the flower towards the panther. This particular image feels a little disjointed to me. These other two feel like they're scenes, but this feels a little collage -y. So I'm, I'm curious to see how the rest of the deck will go. Here we have Butterfly, Surrender, Transformation, and Delicate Strength. Okay. Cat, independent, patient, and present moment. Oh my God, look at this chimpanzee. Curiosity, intelligence, and shadow side. 
chipmunk. Oh, I love this image. See, I wish they were all like this, where they were full scenes. Like when I, the chimp is kind of just, there's not really a back, there's a background, but it's just color. Same thing with the cat and the butterfly. But then some of them seem, and like this is collage but then some of them seem to have these like full nature scenes. So I do kind of wish they all had like scenes. This is so cute though. Trusting, creative, and new discoveries. Oh, here's another sideways one. Cougar. So let's compare the formatting of this size of the artwork to the other one. So it does, yeah, so here's another one where you can tell the images are not formatted. They're not the same size. So you couldn't necessarily trim this deck if you were the type to want to trim your decks because the artwork is all slightly different sizes. Not all of it, but it's definitely not a cohesive size. The borders are all a little different. There's a lot of border on this deck. So this one says confident, responsible, and spiritual warrior. Cow, harmony, patient, and feminine energy. I have to remember to not hold the card up. <laughs> I want to play with it. Coyote, mischievous, resourceful, and thoughtful actions. Crow, oh, I love this like spiraling like galaxy there. Destiny, teasing, and secret sharer. Huh. Deer, compassion, gratitude, and unconditional love. Dog, oh, I love the dog in the water. Fidelity, passion, and enthusiastic service. Dolphin, loving, playful, and powerful breath. Ah, they are doves. Dove, comfort, reassurance, and portal to love. Yeah, there's a there's a really like non-cohesive art style that I'm getting from this deck that is a little bit jarring. Like I feel like sometimes, again, here we have Dragonfly, self-reflection, prosperity, and the inspiration of light, but that art style is so different from the Dove art style. So it almost feels collaborative, but it is all illustrated. It looks, it says written and illustrated by Nadine Gordy, Gordon Taylor. So the same creator did illustrate all the cards, but there's just a different style to all of them. Oh, look at the elephant. Intelligence, responsibility, and the divine feminine. Firefly, autonomy, illumination, and new ideas. Fish. I wish it told me what kind. Determination, emotion, and strong sense of self. Yeah, I feel like in an animal deck, I want to know what kind of fish it is. Is it a, a trout? Um, is it a salmon? Because it, then some of the keywords will feel different, right? Like I feel like it's a little, um, in an animal deck, I would prefer to see exactly what type of animal or fish I'm looking at. Fox. Awareness, flexibility, and sensitive energy. I love the silhouette in the background there. Frog. Regeneration, transformation, and personal power. Giraffe. Graceful, sure-footed, and seeing the big picture. Goose, communication, teamwork, and changing course. I would, it would be nice to see multiple geese since we are talking teamwork and geese and formation is really cool, but I do love this image and I like the perspective here. Ooh, hawk, that's a beautiful image. Observation, truth, and visionary messenger. Horse, there's like a, there's something on that border. I don't know what the deal is there. That may be some intentional texture, but it looks a little out of place, like there's a mark there. Um, action, freedom, and life force. This is a really cool image, but it is so narrow, so the borders look ginormous on that particular card. Hippopotamus, assertive, truthful, and managing your greatness. I'm picking them up again, I'm sorry. Lion, authority, cooperation, and overcoming struggle. See, if they were all like this, if the image size was all cropped to that shape, whether it was you know what I mean? Um, and if they were all upright. I feel like I have a lot of little nitpicky things because there are some like sort of things that I do look for in decks and there's, I like to point those things out when I notice them. Anyway, authority, corporation, and overcoming struggles. But that's just a good size. It's a nice thin border all the way around. We've got room down below, maybe a little too much on the bottom. If I'm being really nitpicky, which I clearly am, you've clearly caught me on a nitpicky day. I'm sorry. <laughs> manatee, acceptance, simplify, and slow down. I love manatees. Monkey, community, innovation, and balancing body, mind, and soul. Otters, I love otters. Laughter, playful, and protective energy. Owl, insight, mystery, and hidden potential. Panda, abundance, tranquility, and gentle strength. Oh, look at these parrots. Co-create, diplomatic, and color healing. 
some of these keywords also aren't, aren't like some of them are landing i think that's a nice thing about having multiple keywords is that you can pick which ones really feel resonant for you um i love that the feathers of this peacock have little ladybugs in the center of them that's really interesting so this one says peacock immortality renewal and making a difference penguin traditional unconventional and dream visions puffin oh my god look they're so cute Flexible, humorous, and fiercely independent. Rabbit, luck, fertility, and simple diet. So yeah, some of the keywords on like simple diet though for an Oracle deck, I don't know, I'm not sure. Raccoon, charitable, nocturnal, and healthy curiosity. Rhinoceros, confidence, unconventional, and law of attraction. Rooster, confident, passionate, and courageous acceptance. Ooh, I like that. Seahorse, partnership, perception, and knight in shining armor. Snake, rebirth, grounded, and holy vibrations. Love that. Squirrel, clever, spirited, and active life. Swan, grace, intuition, and the power of self. Look at this. It's a Tarsier. I don't know this creature, but it's adorable. Gentle, sensitive, and ancient awareness. That creature is literally the cutest. Oh my goodness. And then we have a toucan. Extrovert, social, and being noticed. Turkey. Abundance, karma, and shared blessings. Turtle. Patient, stable, and motherly love. Wolf. Collaboration, Rituals, and Generous Teacher. Zebra, Extraordinary, Nonconformity, and Social Network. Mermaid, this feels incredibly out of place here because a mermaid, I mean, I suppose they're half fish, but they feel very humanoid to me, and so this feels out of place. I don't normally care about mythical creatures in decks, but like... Mermaid, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I, it's a very beautiful piece of artwork, though. Enchanting, unconventional, and strong convictions. And I'm not going to complain about a unicorn. This is a mythical creature, but it is a creature. Feels more creature-ish than mermaids. I mean, way in down below. Mermaid. Humanoid or more animal? Like, how would you see it? Would you expect to see a mermaid in an animal deck? That one kind of threw me a bit. Um, but for the keywords for unicorn, we have innocence, mysterious, and rewriting inner programming, which I think is really beautiful. The unicorn seems to be in like a grayscale image. I'm a little bummed there's no color in the image, but I mean, unicorns are white, there's clouds. I mean, there's not a lot of color there. So let's zoom out. I'm going to give it a shuffle. We're going to take a look at the guidebook and a sample image and kind of see what we think. Right off the bat, I can't say that this ticks off enough of my boxes to be one that I would be super excited to work with for myself personally. Um, I do think that it's got a little bit more of that sort of National Geographic style uh, realism to it, which could be really lovely, particularly if you work with animal decks a lot. This might offer just that different style that you've been looking for. For me personally, I t do tend to lean into more of the, I don't know, like less realistic looking animals, I guess. I'm trying to think of what my style actually is. I'm not a fan of the mixed landscape and um, let's just talk through some of my, uh, my thoughts. I'm not as much a fan of the mixed landscape and portrait art. And I do feel like the art sometimes leans into this very sort of almost photorealistic and then we kind of go a little bit abstract at times, right? Sometimes more minimalist and then sometimes, you know, it just, so the art style does feel a little bit mixed up for me personally. And again, not a fan of the landscape and upright. That's always been a thing for me. A lot of Oracle decks do that. That's not unique to this one. I also do wish that the deck artwork was formatted to be universal so that all of the portrait cards, all of the portrait aligned cards were all the same size and all of the landscape um, card art was also the same size so, so, that, so that it could be potentially trimmed. I don't know if you'd be able to do that with one with landscape art. Um, this one in particular bugs me because it's really thin. It's a cool perspective on the card, but unfortunately for a deck, I feel like it's a little jarring if you lay cards out and you have these different sized sort of images on them. So that would be sort of, I guess, my critique, but I feel like there's a really nice diversity of creatures and animals in here. I would personally probably pull that mermaid card out. This feels a little too photorealistic in its art style for me to feel like that belongs in here. And I might even actually pull the unicorn out of a deck like this as well because it just feels more like the kind of deck that you would see 
portraying animals that you would encounter. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, this feels like a very nature channel kind of vibe. And so seeing those mythological creatures in this deck doesn't feel as cohesive. So that's some things I guess I would think right off the bat. But I did say we were gonna do a quick look at the guidebook. So let me just pull one sample card and then we can look through the guidebook and see what the guidebook has to say about that one card. So let's pull from here. And I have the dove, which is the same as what we see here on the back of the cards. Now let's take a look at the guidebook because this looks like it's got quite a lot of information in it. So let me zoom us in a little bit here. So when we get into the guidebook, it is full color inside, which is awesome. So for contents, we have acknowledgements, a message from the author, and then basically how to use these cards. And then it looks like the each individual animal is listed in the table of contents with their keywords, which is super cool, actually. Um, that's a really neat way to do that. And it looks like they're basically alphabetical as well. And the mermaid and the unicorn are inserted here as wild cards. So the creator of this deck definitely accounted for the fact that those are mythological, mythical, mythological, mythical creatures, um, and accounted for that. But let's go to the page on Dove. Oh, I guess I didn't really see if there was anything kind of precursor here. So how to use affirmations. Yeah, and then we get right into the, the meaning. So let's take a look at our Dove page to get an idea for how this is written. So here we have the card you have selected shows two affectionate white doves. They come as a gift to you today, bringing you peace of mind, support, and love. These innocent giving creatures have been with us for as long as there is human memory. The dove, like many birds, connects source, great spirit, higher self, with the earth dimension. Doves symbolize harmonious relationships, marital devotion, and family values. This is because doves, like many species of birds, mate for life and raise their young with their partners. Both male and female doves take responsibility for hatching and caring for their offspring, and both have the ability to produce a milk-like substance called crop milk to feed their young. I didn't know that. I think that's really cool. And I love that the guidebook has inserted information about doves as a species, like what they're what they're like, like what, what what is a cool thing about them that maybe we don't already know. The dove can restore tranquility to those who have been traumatized with its compassionate and non-judgmental energy. Your two affectionate doves come to you today as messengers wanting to assist you in a peaceful transition from any difficulties you're having. They know how hard you try to bring order to disorder, but they want to reassure you that your efforts are being noted on a higher level. They want you to slow down, take deep breaths, and let go of the turmoil that is currently surrounding you. What you see right now is reality shifting in ways you never thought possible, and what you are truly seeking is just around the corner. Remember that most chaos happens just before your dreams come true. The arrival of two doves means that happiness is soon to come via some sort of partnership. This could be a romantic or a business connection or both. Uh, hope and wonder are in the air. Follow the doves and let them lead you deep inside your heart. There you will find a connection to someone special, perhaps yourself. And then there's an affirmation. It says, no matter what my situation, peace starts in the heart. I am open and ready to form and sustain loving relationships with others. I nurture myself with care and love, knowing I deserve this as much as anyone else. That's a really beautiful message. So very like nurturing and supportive for sure. This definitely has a very healing sort of vibe to it. And I like that. Let's see what it says in the back here. Purchase an image from the deck. So these are available as individual prints, probably it looks like that you can purchase, which is awesome. So that is the Animal Love Oracle cards. I mean, initial thoughts. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this one. I am very particular about animal decks. This is not one I could see myself using on the regular, but it is different from the other decks that I've seen out on the market that are animal decks right now. I feel like this is the kind of deck, if you are going to have just a couple Oracle decks, or if you're going to be reading for yourself and pulling the guidebook for each one, this one would be, would be really, really good. My initial thoughts, again, there's just some clunky production things that I personally would prefer be done a little bit differently, but that's all personal preference stuff. And the kind of things that I care about are not going to be the things that everybody else cares about. But I think it is really, really thorough with how many animals are in here, which is really, really cool. And there's a lot of variety in the, t that's what I just said. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of variety in the animals presented, which is really cool. And yeah, that is the Animal Love Oracle Cards. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you again so much to the publisher for sending me this one to check out and to share with all of you guys. And I hope that you got some value out of this walkthrough and were able to find out if this is one that you might be interested in picking up for yourself. I will have a link to the deck down below along with anything else that I may have referenced during this video if I remember. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. I don't know what I was going to say though, but I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thank you so, so much for joining me and may your magic always shine from the inside out. Bye guys.